scientists revived the cells of pigs an hour after their death, and this is a potential organ transplant breakthrough. This technology could someday be used in human organs. The pigs had already been dead for an hour, and yet the cells of their hearts, brains, and livers were still kicking. Thanks to a new system called Organ X, scientists can now keep the dying organs of recently deceased pigs alive by hooking the animals up to a system of pumps, filters, and flowing fluids. This procedure does not restore the animal's brain function or pull the pigs back from the great beyond. Rather, it ensures that certain cellular functions in the animal's vital organs keep going. In the future, the system could potentially be used to help preserve and restore donated human organs destined for use in transplantation procedures. Scientists reported a new study published Wednesday, August 3rd, today that is, in the journal Nature. This process could expand the number of organs available for transplant by reversing the effects of ischemia in which the, an organ suffers damage from inadequate blood flow and oxygen supply in donated organs. And in theory, such a device could also be used in living humans to treat ischemia that occurs during a stroke or a heart attack. Dr. Robert Porte, professor in the Department of Surgery at the University of Groningen in Netherlands, who was not involved in the study, wrote in an accompanying, accompanying commentary of the work. However, the technology would not be applied to living humans or donated organs anytime soon. This is very far away from use in humans. Stephen Latham, director of Yale Interdisciplinary Center for Bioethics and co-author of the study said, the proof of concept experiment in pigs demonstrated that the Organex system can restore some cellular functions in some organs after blood stopped flowing in those organs, but the degree of recovery differed between the organs. We'd need to study in a lot more detail the degree to which the ischemic damage is undone in different kinds of organs before we'd be even close to trying an experiment like this on a human being who had suffered anoxic damage, meaning organ damage from a lack of oxygen, Latham said. The team plans to study OrganX in many more animal studies before even thinking about translating the technology to humans. Dr. David Andrajevich, an associate professor, research scientist in neuroscience at Yale School of Medicine, co-author of the study said, now how OrganX works. The new research builds upon a previous study published in 2019 in the journal Nature in which the researchers used a smaller version of the same system to restore some cellular and metabolic activity in the brain of a pig that had been decapitated during food production. This smaller system, called BrainX, pumped a liquid chock full of hemopure. It's a synthetic form of a protein hemoglobin which carries oxygen in red blood cells through the brain's blood vessels. The liquid also contained chemical compounds intended to prevent blood clots from forming and cells from self-destructing through a process called apoptosis. Pumping is this fluid through the brain prevented the organ from swelling, as it usually would after death, and allowed certain cellular functions to continue up to four hours post-decapitation. Importantly, the treated brain did not produce any electrical signals associated with normal brain function or remnant awareness, the authors confirmed. Cells actually do not die as quickly as we assume that they do, which basically opens up a possibility for intervention, said Dr. Zvonimir Zelja, an associate research scientist in neuroscience at Yale School of Medicine and co-author of the study. If, in other words, the scientists can step in soon enough, they can save some cells from certain doom. In their latest work, the team essentially scaled up their brain X system to perfuse a whole a pig body at once. The scaled up system uses a device similar to a heart-lung machine, which takes over the role of the heart and lungs during surgery by pumping blood and oxygen through the body. The team used this device to, plug, to pump both pig blood and a modif modified version of their synthetic cell-saving liquid through the deceased pig's bodies. Their synthetic solution contained 13 compounds intended to suppress inflammation, 
stop blood clot formation, prevent cell death, and correct electrolyte imbalances that arise when ischemia sets in. To test Organex, a team induced cardiac arrest in anesthetized pigs, and then after an hour, they connected the animals to the device. They compared the Organex-treated pigs to pigs treated with an extracorporeal membrane oxygenation system, ECMO, which only pumped oxygenated blood through the animal's bodies. After six hours, the team found that ECMO did not sufficiently perfuse all the animal's organs with blood, and many blood vessels had collapsed, as they typically would after death. The ECMO-treated animals also showed extensive signs of hemorrhage and tissue swelling. By comparison, OrganX reduced the degree of cell death and improved the preservation of tissues throughout the body. And what's more, OrganX-treated pig showed, showed signs of cellular repair unfolding in the brain, heart, lungs, liver, kidney, and pancreas, and these vital organs retain cellular, certain cellular and metabolic functions over the six-hour experiment. The heart, in particular, showed signs of electrical activity and was able to contract. Further examination of the pig's hearts, kidneys, and livers also revealed that specific genes involved in cellular repair had been activated in the organs, whereas they had not in the ECMO-treated pigs. So what this tells us is that the demise of cells can be halted and their functionality restored in multiple vital organs even one hour after death. Dr. Nenad Sestan, professor of neuroscience at Yale School of Medicine and the study's senior author said it, uh, briefly. Now the results hint that someday organ X or components of the system could be applied in the treatment of ischemia and in the preservation of transplant organs particularly in the case of donation after circulatory death, in which donated organs have been deprived of blood circulation for some time prior to transplant, Port wrote in his doc commentary. But again, much more research is needed before the system can be applied in either setting. In follow-up work, the research team wants to better understand how, where, and to what extent organ X restores cellular function in different animal organs, and in addition, they'll need to evaluate whether and how their synthetic solution needs to be adapted for use in human tissues, and ethical and practical concerns, concerns must be addressed before even considering using the system in living humans, Latham said. You have to think about what is the state in which a human being would be restored if they had been seriously damaged by ischemia, and you gave them a perfusate, uh, a perfusate that reversed some, not all, of the damage, he said. The salvaging of organs and the maintenance of organs for transplant is, I think, a much closer and much more realistic clinical goal that could be based on this study. This is by Live Science, Nicoletta Laniz. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.